Here we have Rachel from Revive Outdoor Cleaning. Hello. What are you doing today, Rachel? Um, I'm, firstly, I'm removing the biofilm from this wall and then we're chemically cleaning it. Um, as you can see, it's heavily infested. It's a classical balustrade, so it's going to be a really nice feature once it's done. Um, but if you look here, it's absolutely covered in every type of lichen, black algae. Um, this is actually a biofilm. It's extremely difficult to break up um, and it doesn't disperse easily. Lichen has roots and it'll just carry on infesting. If you look here, it's an example of where the biofilm's really bad. Right, yeah, that looks really bad. Yeah. Can you see how I've already wet that down? Yeah, yeah. But whenever Why would you do that? Because this is incredibly porous. So if you attempt to spray anything on um, the biofilm, it will just literally suck it in. Right. That's what it's designed to do to stop it being penetrated. So you have to wet it down, almost drown the biofilm first yeah. so that it can't take away the chemical. And right. then break it up by agitation and disperse it. And that without the chemical to stay yeah, on top of the surface and keep once working. You've, yeah, once you've agitated, and you see that's particularly bad. That's been wet down at the same time as that. But right, because the yeah. biofilm wasn't anywhere near as strong on that, it had already soaked up the water within literally seconds. So you're working a metre yeah, at a time then? a metre at a time. Um, it's a patient job. It's not a spray as you go right. job. Can you show us some bits you've already done? <laughs> yeah, come around here. This is how it's first coat. Um, this Whoa. So as you can see, the top is still quite heavily infected, but it is going. Um, what afterwards we'll probably do, maybe another coat, but certainly just touch up where it, it's worse, and then we'll just continue to agitate the bad bits until the lichen fades. Um, that bit's going quite well there. And as you can see, that's almost done. Wow. I'm so, impressed. Yeah. Seriously impressed. <laughs> yeah. And you can see that it's all gonna be this lovely Cotswold honey yellow color. Um, it'll be a really nice feature once it's done. And that's what the customer wants is for it to be restored. Beautiful. Patient job then. Patient job, yeah, um, but worth it in the end. Um, and then it will be recommending that later in the year they spray a biocide overall to maintain it to stop algae and lichen regrowing on it because obviously it is spoiling. The so tell me, bit. why why wouldn't you pressure wash this? You wouldn't pressure wash it because it's already extremely porous. You would make the biofilm a hundred times worse. Um, it would the spores would just multiply and carry on, and it would be blacker before. You know, right, right, I get you. So it, it, and it's I guess pointless. damaging to the stone at times. Yeah, very damaging because anything that takes a layer off the stone makes it more porous and damages it. It erodes it effectively, just like a cliff. So right. hence why a biofilm forms in the first place to protect from erosion. I get you. Um, but had you never pressure pressure washed it and always just sprayed a chemical on it, you probably never have got the lichen. It's the biofilm appears simply to protect the stone. Um, it's like a skin to protect it from erosion. Right. And what precautions do you do to protect the um, greenery around? I see there's lots of grass. Yeah, um, I see you bagged the plants up there. The grass, um, the plants being covered but, up. Um, but as long as you um, mix your chemical correctly, you have enough surfactant in it to make sure that it adheres to a vertical right, application. Right, I get you. Then it won't actually. That's very off. clever. Yeah. 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 Um, which is which is what you need to do is make sure that it um, has enough surfactant in it so that it clings yeah, and sticks. it doesn't Right, I get it now, yeah. yeah. Great. That's us at Revive Outdoor Cleaning.